Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. This is part 19 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We're playing on ultra hard difficulty and uh, check it out. My poor mount has been through the ringer. Basically we got attacked by some watchers <laughs> on the way here. So anyway, if you remember last episode, we took care of um, a corrupted zone. And we also did the hunt, the first hunting trial. I think it was a level 8 one. And there is also another one I'm eager to do, but I won't do that, uh, well, not anytime soon. I'd like to explore this new area here. So, um, guys, what I'd very much like to do, though, is the tall neck. Because it's a beneficial to open the entire area up before we get to this place here. All right, so that's going to be our final stopping point for this quest and i'm hoping that's meridian because you guys have been telling me a lot about this place so um, i'm eager to see it but in the meantime let's explore this area here it looks like there's a side quest there as well um this is a daughter's vengeance so we gotta to speak to, to a commander there i don't know what this is this blue thing but um anyway that's the plan there's also a bandit camp here there's another corrupted zone and in fact there's this entire area here i haven't defogged but we'll do that all in good time as the videos progress. But in the meantime, let us go this way. <laughs> I wonder, can I bring my... No, I can't. All right, Mount, chill out there for a bit. I'll be back soon. I might need to replace him, guys. He's in really bad shape. <laughs> That's all there is in the new glands. Machines or bandits try to get past me. Uh, they'll have a fight. Mark my words. <laughs> awesome. All right, this is all new, guys. All of this is new. It's really cool. It's good to get away from Nora Lands for a bit. I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. It's our merchant. But can I buy anything from me? <laughs> all right, what's that? Oh, can I loot this? Hope you don't mind just taking Time your take life savings. You <laughs> Alright, guys, who is this? What's shaman's damn nonsense? It's worse. Okay, Ota, let's speak to him. I heard you talking about trouble in Banuke lands. Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there. Not with the Banuk wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. All right, this is interesting. There's a trade route. I thought the Banuk kept to themselves. Uh, we Osiram and the Banuk are neighbors, after all. What's a few mountain ranges between friends? I have some acquaintances out there still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but... They say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. Right, machines and spirits? What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuk funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. All right, and the cot? What is this place? The cut. When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuke land, they left the cut behind. So a battleground from the war. Like the valley outside the sacred land. Mm-hmm. Mountain pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome. Especially not now. Okay, farewell. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Oh, this is... Okay, I get it now, guys. That's actually the DLC. And um, Eddie freaking Munson, he told me I should do this before completing the main game story. 
but you'd let me know when I would be able to do it. Um, give me a sec. Let me check. Uh, oh, it's a side quest. Okay, so obviously we're not ready for this. Level 30. I'm level 22, so I guess it's going to take me a while to get there. But anyway, I'd like to do this. This looks awesome. So we'll do this in the next, I don't know, I'm predicting 10 episodes or more. But um, I'd like to give this a try. Anyway, let's keep exploring. <laughs> this is so cool, guys. Fish. <laughs> Alright, I can't really interact with them. That's fine. Okay. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. All right, let me let me just check this uh, merchant. I mean, okay, here we go. Right, anything new? Oh shit! Yes, there is. Oh my god. Okay, obviously I'm gonna turn the difficulty back down to story mode just so that I can buy stuff. So what have we got here? All right, lightweight bow, shadow hunter bow, lightweight bow trades power for fast reload and firing time and it's good for short to medium range combat fire arrows can ignite blade yeah i know all this it's got another arrow there i don't know what that is okay guys what we're gonna do then i i want it i just want to get it <laughs> all right so let's put it on story so it's all cheaper because you gotta remember these are all new game plus prices and we're just playing the game from scratch in ultra hard so it's not this is it do i want this though 800 i have got a sawtooth heart oh my god you're kidding and there's also shadow trip caster there's a shadow sling okay let's start from here first yeah so we'll get this one watch a heart i've got plenty let's get it guys <laughs> i'm so excited this is great all right so let's replace that okay give me a moment Right, this is a tutorial. I do the tutorials um, off recording. All right, what is that? Okay, these are the arrows that I've been using throughout the entire playthrough so far. Oh, you're kidding. Guys, this is much stronger. Guys, this is loads stronger. My goodness. Um, Let me put some mods in there. All right, here, no, not that. God damn it. This one here. Okay, what can I put? So, I'd like to put something to, for damage, like 24% and 6% tear. That's tear, but I don't have any tear arrows in this. I don't know what to do, guys. Um, I want something for handling as well. Do I not have anything decent? Well, I've got this. Let's put this one in there. Okay, cool. And then... Uh, let's do damage. One for damage. And I I'm not going to put... Okay, guys, I tell you what. I'll think about it. I'm not going to put anything yet. But, um, but I'm just going to try this out. I don't know what this is. Wait, not that. This one. Okay, so we'll give this a try. And I'd like to get some of these other weapons, but let's start small for now. I'll just keep that the way it is. Okay. So, let's put it back on Ultra Hard. And uh, let's talk to him. Captain Blon, I have questions for you. First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, it was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused an incident. As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time. And our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. <laughs> I could put it to use. If you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, tell me all about this. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. All of them confirmed my fears, so I sealed the gates. 
But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Walid, tell me what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Okay, yeah, why me? Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the side of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that, soldier? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Please say yes. Anyway, questions about the Karja Sundom. I'll keep an eye out for your men, blah, blah, blah. The way to Meridian. All right, let's ask about this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, anyway, here we go. What is this place exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vaad to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. He sounds like a cool guy. All right, Karja and Nora? Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Vaad wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean... Alright, Meridian? What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Havad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azaram. And the Sunring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the Fallen. Sun King Avad? It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the Chosen of the Sun. And what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. I hope we get to meet these characters, guys. So, Avad, or Sun King Avad, killed his father because his father was a tyrann tyrannical lunatic, from what I'm gathering. Anyway, the Osirum? So, the Karja are allied with the Osirum? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Osirum for years. Avad managed to get them on his side. And he had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Azaram's siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them. Scaled the North Cliff with my men and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azaram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. <laughs> Alright, cool. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for your men. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful, but not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, lunkhead? You might be off the hook. Oh no, I, I haven't finished. Wait, sorry, dude. <laughs> One sec. Any word about our missing men? Uh, dude, I haven't even. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Sorry, it was these as well. Okay, um, <laughs> right, this one. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vaad has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. The machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. That's for everywhere else. Well, travel at your own risk. Um, Olin. Right, this is important. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora. And they passed through on the way, then back. I brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. All right, and I think... Wait. Okay, this is all done. So we'll go back here. Nakoa. 
You said something happened with Nakoa. The Nora girl? Yes, yeah, something happened. Attempted murder. Prefect Zaid can tell you more about it. You can find him near the main tower, up the steps. Wait. Saeed is here? He is. Look, I've heard what your people say about him, but he swears it's a case of mistaken identity. Now, if there's a shadow to him, I've never been able to prove it, and the forbearance he showed towards this Nicole woman was impressive. Oh, speak to him. Maybe he knows where she went. And try not to assault him, please. What the hell? Okay, I think that's all the dialogue exhausted now. Okay, cool. So that's all done. I need to go. Let me know if there's any news about those missing men. Uh, wow, guys, I'm spoiled for choice. I don't know what to do first. <laughs> um, I was thinking about doing the tall neck, but... All right, give me a sec. Let's have a look at this. Okay, obviously not the frozen wilds. Can't do anything now. A door's venture. We can talk to Zaid, but... I want to see what this other one is. It's an errand, isn't it? In foreign lands. This one here. Investigate the Forsaken Village. Uh, Balan, the captain at Day Tower. Wait, 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 wait. I'm rushing ahead. One sec. Okay. Let's select it. Where is it on the map? Oh, it's only here, guys. Um, shall we do this? Okay, let's do this, guys. Okay, in foreign lands, errands. Balan, the captain at Daytow, needs assistance searching the valley for a missing Karja patrol. Investigate the Forsaken Village and that will be 3,750 XP. And uh, hunting for the lodge is just ongoing, isn't it? So, guys, let's just do that. I will speak to Saeed if he's here some other time. I really wanted to do that tall neck, but uh, we may as well finish this off. Okay, so back on my mount. Let's go... Where is it? Over here. There's already a campfire. But in case there's enemies, <laughs> right, I don't want to land in... All right, let's go here first. I bought some uh, fast travel packs as well from a merchant, so that should keep me going for a bit. All right, guys. All right, it's this way. Okay, there's some watchers here. I actually got attacked here on the, on the way up to Day Tower. All right. Oh, crap. <laughs> Come on, move, please. Oh, God damn it, man. No, <laughs> stop. All right, so keep going. Why is my mount so slow? All right, we're here, guys. Okay. A young Nora Hunter. Is this part of the quest? Must have come across Captain Ballon's patrol here. All right, check it out. There's something here. One of the Karja soldiers fell here. <sighs> okay, here we go. The other soldiers must have retreated. But to where? All right, let's save it real quick. All right, follow the tracks. Okay, highlights. Where are we going? All right, check it out, guys. So this used to be a corrupted zone. We cleared that on the way to Day Tower. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did anyone survive? Oh crap! At least his death came quickly. Oh no! Go away! Jesus, broadheads! For Christ's sake, guys. This is awkward. Alright, I'm going to stay very far away from them. If possible. Oh no, guys. Alright, one sec. Let's just keep going here. Follow the tracks. Now what? Can't be the helmet from the last Karja soldier. Someone nearly lost his head here, then ran off. Mm. 
All right, highlight tracks. This way. Guys, I'm really quiet because this is um, probably going to surprise me. Uh, lots of machines will probably jump me, so that's why I'm a little bit apprehensive. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Blood everywhere. Oh gosh, okay. I'm trying to examine, come on. A machine dragged something into the water here. But maybe he made it to that island. That does not sound good, guys. Oh, it's fish. <laughs> All right, give me a sec. Highlight track. Guys, I'm nervous. I can't see any machines here for now, so we should be okay. This might be a good farming spot for these fish. Um, I, I still can't remember what it is. It's, it's to um, increase some inventory, I think. I just don't remember what, what it's for. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that noise? Oh my god! What the hell is this? That's a freaking uh, crocodile. Shit. Uh, snap more. Okay, able to engage on land and water. Its bulk uh, belies the speed of its distance closing lunge attacks. Alright, he's weak to fire. Guys, I'm nervous, man. <laughs> I didn't expect this. Okay, weakness, fire, and tear. And what's this? A freeze sack. Okay, destroying this component disables the ranged freeze attack and triggers an explosion, causing damage to anything in the area. Okay, you know what that means, guys. <sighs> All right, you know what this means. We're going to use um, a freeze resist potion. I've never used one before, so... Wait, just give me a minute. Oh shit, you're kidding me. Guys, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Okay, let's just go hit this way. Guys, I'm, I'm shit scared. Alright. Sorry, where am I going? What? Uh, sorry guys, I beg your pardon. I don't know where the hell I'm going. Oh, it's here. It's here. It's here. What am I... Oh, there's a dude here. Sorry, I just heard him. I brought down all the beasts, but I missed out on the feast. I went to the beer fount too many times to count. I fingered every curl, but I never won the girl. I was there. If they close the so much gate, for being careful. I am left to my fate. They'll find me lying dead on a freezing grassy bed. I do want to go home. Oh, shut up. <laughs> enough, enough. I get I get the picture. I wasn't expecting to be found, especially not by Nora. I wasn't expecting to find a half-clad Karjan soldier singing like a drunk. I apologize for my um, behavior. I thought I was dead. Come on. Your commander asked me to bring you back to Day Tower. I refuse to be led back to my outpost by Nora, like some prisoner. Screw you! Fine. Go by yourself. Wait. Look. I got in a tussle with a snap maw. It ate the half of me of his armor and bow. The thief is still in the water. I can't go back without a weapon. Find my bow, please. I'll get it. Just don't start singing again. <laughs> All right. Um. So we have to actually fight a freaking crocodile. God damn it. All right, guys, let's just do it. Okay, there was one here. I don't know where he's gone now. One, two. Okay, so we got one. Oh, you're shitting me, guys. There's four of them. All right, wish me luck. <laughs> I have no idea what to do here, but... um. Oh, check this out. All right, Riker building. 
All right, hello. Our records show that you've been researching safe, comfortable, affordable apartments in the Salt Lake City area. I knew it, so this is all in America. You should consider the Riker building. Take a moment to review some of the features we offer our tenants. Totally automated facility monitored by a bleeding edge robotic security team. <laughs> Always comfy, biometric climate control auto adjusts the temperature of every room. Complimentary Faro runner upon signing a lease. Let your runner grab groceries and collect packages while you enjoy the luxury of the Riker lifestyle. Our Hollow site features a free, fully immersive tour of the facilities, including a customizable mock up of your future Riker apartment. Visit us today and start living. <laughs> awesome. All right, this isn't going to be awesome, though. Oh my god, I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> Jesus. They don't know I'm here yet. And I really want to try these. Oh my god. Guys, I'm going to get killed if I'm stuck here. So the best thing to do is fight them out in the open. And I'm thinking, let's try it blast wise. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, not now. Oh my god. Okay, it's on now, guys. It's on now. Nothing I can do. Alright. Oh shit. The weeks of fire. Sorry. Oh shit. Shit. Okay. Take a freeze thing or whatever. And let's do this. Okay. I don't, don't even know what I'm hitting. Guys, sorry, I'm really panicked. <laughs> That's why I'm really quiet. Okay, let's set him on fire again. Oh, come on. Where are you going? Oh god damn it. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh shit, 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 shit. Let me try that canister. Did I get it? No, I didn't. Damn it. Okay, run. <laughs> run. Get out of here. Yes, we got it, guys. Okay, that's that's our first one. But there's two more. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, guys. Shit. Shit. That's not fair. That is not fair, guys. He just snuck behind me. <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry. I'm in, a, I'm in such a panic. <laughs> I'm going to climb up here. Where's that dude? Alright, guys, guys, guys. We need to get back in the fight, but... <laughs> I can't believe he actually snuck around behind me. Okay. Okay, did that work? No, it didn't. Why not? Wait, it's happening by me. Okay, okay. Let's try again. Oh, come on. My God. Thank you. Okay. Let's shoot the other one. 
sorry, the other canister. Guys, sorry I'm quiet. Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus, that's a lot of damage. Okay, freeze potion. No. Oh, for crying out loud. Let me try and get that freezer sack thing. Oh, come on. Damn it. Oh, he's li okay, he lifts his head up. Guys, I've got an idea. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, we're going to use this ammo. Okay, let's try again. I'm in such a panic. Oh, damn it. I tried to get it. I couldn't. Okay. All right, just wait. Be patient. Socks. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, got you. <laughs> and he died as well. That's fantastic. Okay, guys. Um, right, there's two more still. Oh, God. Oh, you freaking piece of shit. Get out of it. Wow. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, here we go. Fascinating. If they weren't looking for me. All right, guys, give me a minute. I'm going to loot just while I've got a chance. Come on, Aloy, please hurry. Ah, oh, crap. All right, there we go. Hey, loot. All right, cool. There we go. Right, where's this uh, crocodile? Okay, it's got the diamond quest thing, so I guess this is the one we needed. All right. Oh, 31% handling coil. Okay, nice. Carger bow. We got it. Okay. All right, guys. I'm so sorry I was really quiet for most of that. I was just really nervous, man. Okay, where's the dude? He's up there. Okay, um, I'm going to talk to him, but I'd like to go after the other two uh, snap or crocodiles, wherever they are. All right, here we go. Let's talk to this scumbag, and then we'll go after them. Good luck out there. Thank you. I, uh... I didn't want to die in foreign lands like my men. May the sun light their passing. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, whatever. <laughs> Fine. Okay. All right, there's two more. Wait, one more. Ancient debris. Where's the other one? I swear there was a... I swear there was another one, guys. Am I getting that wrong? Anyway, let's top up. Never know when I might need these. And I'm sure there's some collectibles here as well. Right, where are you? No, there is two. God damn it. There is two, guys. Alright. Let's set this on fire. Wait, what happened? Oh, one of them died. Excellent. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Cool. Let's get the other canister. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> no, please. Oh, whoa. Whoa, okay. Okay. Jesus, that is a lot of damage, guys. Okay, let me try and get that freeze thing. So he lifts it. There he is. He lifts his head up. Damn it. Did I get it? Oh my god, Aloy. Come on. Right. Right. 
Right, try again. Come on, lift your head up, you piece of shit. Come on! Oh, you bastard! I think he knows. He might be close to dying, guys. Okay, let me just set him on fire. Oh, it's dead. All right, I was right. I've noticed this with some of the machines. What happens is when they're close to death, they actually start moving away from you. Wow. Anyway, what an experience. <laughs> Five chill water, guys. Excellent. All right, check it out. Nice. Good loot, actually. All right, so what else is there? That's it. There's some fish here, so I think I'm going to come back here off recording. I'll do that on my own time. I'm just going to farm loads of fish. I need fish skin and fish bones as well, but I just don't remember why. Anyway, let's check this all out. All right, metal eye. We'll sell all that to a merchant. Oh, what's this? Oh, nice. <laughs> Very big haul there. Is there anything else? Right, just doing a quick scan. Is there any other data points? Oh, more ancient debris. Okay. Anything else? I think apart from that note that we read. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, anyway. Right, what's that? Oh, it's a dead fox. Poor thing. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. I don't think I've got my mount anymore. Um, I'm also thinking, just to finish off this episode, should we go after this corrupted area here? Guys, let's do this. All right, let's fast travel over there. All right, I hope it's not too far. Oh, I accidentally took um, one of these health potion Stacking things. Up. All right, anyway, let's grab that. All right, this is a level 20. Shit. Okay, what am I? Level 22. Okay, this might... Oh, whoa, it's a long leg. Okay. Oh, God. Um, guys, I still don't really know how to fight these things. All right, here's what we do. We need some blast wires. And I'm going to aim for his chest. Let me put some more. Because I'm sure they're going to start chasing after me. So we'll lay some traps for them. All right, let's do this. Let's try and break his chest if, if we can. <laughs> well, he's still okay. Is he not going to go to the thing? Oh, shit. What the hell? Jesus. I don't even know what happened. Alright, guys. We need to put him on fire. I should really have put a mod here. Give me a sec, guys. Sorry. Give me a sec. Oh, crap. How do I do this? Okay. This one's the... Crap. You know what? Never mind. I was going to put a fire bone here. Shit. He's doing that thing again. I don't know what that attack is, but... Oh, come on! Really? Jesus. Okay, good. He's on fire. Good. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Stop it. Wow. Okay, I'm getting my ass kicked, guys. Come on, go on fire. God damn it. Jeez. All right, there we go. All right, he's in bad shape. Let's take him out. 
Wait, let me use my new arrows, actually. Oh, for God's sake, he stopped. He stopped moving. No, stop doing that move. Jesus. Stop. <laughs> Jesus. All right, here we go. Here we go. Nice. Okay, that's one down. I did notice there's some scrappers. I don't think they've noticed me yet, so that's good. These long legs make weird noises, don't they? <laughs> right, let me just check his weak points. Okay, wing. All right, guys, we did it, but we're not done yet. There's still... I swear there's some scrappers. I'm pretty certain there is. Okay, we'll loot afterwards. All right, okay. let me just get full health. Okay. Grab that. Okay, there's blast wires. And check this out. I can actually take back my wires now, which is great. Or retrieve them. All right, guys. He doesn't know I'm here yet. So let's put him on fire. Ah, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> All right. We did it, guys. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. All right. Okay. Very sloppy, but um, listen, this is only the second time I've actually fought long legs, so nice. Okay, let's loot them up. All right, guys, let me do some looting. Uh, we'll explore that building over there. All right, guys, so we are now done with the looting. We're just going to check out any data points or anything. I hope there is. Because I'm interested, man. I'm really invested. I really want to know more about, you know, before all of this happened. All right, let's grab all of that. Oh, come on. There has to be some... I don't think there's anything here except for that loot, guys. All right, let me just try outside. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> All right, no, there's nothing here. I think. Okay, look, uh, please let me know in the comments if there is anything and I've missed it. Um, what's there? Okay, so that's all done. That's no longer corrupted. All right, what we'll do is, guys, in the next episode, um, I'll reload. You'll probably find me around here. There's a merchant there. I'll check out his goods, etc. We'll just defog this, but I'd like to go through here. We need to tell that captain, by the way, that we've cleared, um, you know, got that guy's bow back, uh, found that soldier. I think what we'll do is let's just let's just go all the way here just to open this. The next episode after that, we're going to go for the tool next so I can defog the entire map. All right. Well, that's the plan. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. So first experience with uh, snap moors. I was totally terrified for that. Forgive me. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in part 20. Take care.